Well, holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, as guys, while the BBC Samurai situation was still raging wildfire, we got another gaming disaster to talk about. How does this keep on happening, man? How does this keep on happening? Apparently, we got new reports, all right? I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, okay? But apparently, we're hearing that a YouTuber and influencer put out a review video for Star Wars, didn't necessarily like the game, so they were like, hey, the game isn't that good. Guess what happens? That video gets taken down by Ubisoft. Oh, shit. Oh. That happened. We're gonna talk about it. This is why, like, a lot of a lot of people right now are looking like this. A lot of people are like, hey, man, another day, another drama. Let's get on with it, okay? So, suckers are not stopping, man. Everybody's like beefing, 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 beefing. And we got this article that says that Ubisoft buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours to promote Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> this thing is crazy, bro! This thing is crazy! What? 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 Yo, where's my boat tour at? As a brown man, I demand for me to get that boat tour as well. Oh no, uh... Where, where did you guys go on a boat? To an island or something like that? No, I don't need that boat tour, man. I'm good as is, okay? I'm good as is. Guys, put your seat belts on. Shout out to the homie Dread Roberts. Roll it. So one has to wonder at times which of these Ubisoft titles are going to fail harder upon release. Is it going to be Assassin's Creed Shadows or is it going to be Star Wars Outlaws? Well, let's weigh the two games together. On one hand, Assassin's Creed Shadows is knee-deep in controversy with both the United States and Japan, but their yeah. gameplay, even though it looks pretty crappy from what we've seen so far, influencers have not gotten their hands on it to make judgments for themselves. But on the other hand, for Star Wars Outlaws, we have tons of gameplay from yeah. tons of influencers, and many of them were apparently rewarded by Ubisoft for saying positive things about their game. We're going to get into some of that, but we also have to show you yeah, guys. Yeah, like, uh, get, uh, send, send to Disneyland and given boat tours. <laughs> what, what, what is going on? This is gaming, man. Like, damn, homie. So they're really looking to buy reviews like that. And, and, and this type of crap, like, actually goes down in Call of Duty. But, but Call of Duty, usually, you know, they put YouTubers in nice hotels uh, somewhere around the beach area and they make sure there's a lot of sugar around, like, you know, snacks, right? Like Skittles, maybe, perhaps, Snickers, right? Lays, Doritos, some chips here, here and there. You know, they want to get people high on sodium, they want to get people high on sugar, and then they give them early access to play Call of Duty. So, we know that happens, right? Yeah, pretty standard, right? They make sure, like, YouTubers are fed uh, and all that, right? Ubisoft takes it to a new level! New level! Send these seconds to Disneyland because, of course, the game is so bad that they have to somehow give these YouTubers their dopamine shot, right? Like, they, they, they want to make sure, like, their their receptors are lighting up like a Christmas tree or some something, something like that. Yeah, they are sending them on boat tours because this game is not doing it, so they're like, okay, well, we need these seconds to find dopamine this way. Wait for it. As some pretty crazy, horrendous gameplay from Star Wars Outlaws. Go into some of the requirements for that game and then touch upon Black Myth Wukong. So let's start with this article okay. from That Park Place. Okay. More Star Wars Wait Outlaws clips mocked for terrible AI, bad combat, horrible physics, and ridiculous strong female protagonist moments. And guys, you all knew that this was coming. Sweet Baby Inc. has already been known to work with Ubisoft. And Ubisoft has been on the decline for many years now. Remember that they hit their peak years ago and they have been declining ever since. There is no healthy trading with Ubisoft right now. So it is not a surprise that we have tons of gameplay that is being obliterated by either Star Wars fans or gamers everywhere. It says more Star Wars Outlaws clips have made their online and they are being mocked for featuring strong female protagonist moments terrible ai and simply bad physics i mean really a ubisoft game you guys had one job make a fun star wars game but not only are you not making it fun you're making it tedious you're making it repetitive you're providing gamers with unfinished versions of the game with combat yeah. ai that is absolutely terrible and it is immersion breaking one gamers unite gamers unite gamers unite honestly bro look at this gameplay bro like this game we had ps3 games looking better than this crap bro this is modern day gaming, man. Damn, bro. Like, damn. And back in the days, I thought it's only gonna get better. I mean, it is getting better, but <laughs> from the opposite side, right? Like, yeah, it's uh, it's it's improving, but backwards. It's improving, but backwards. 100% of the time. That on top of a main character that is all but unappealing as a playable character type with a very limited temporary arsenal that only serves the fights that you are in. If you are following the rules of the forced stealth gameplay, there's so much here that is wrong with this game. There's a post from Grums that shows one of these things. I just want to show you guys some crazy gameplay today. Okay. It says, another Star Wars Outlaws immersive takedown via Fleekazoid's Roast. There was a YouTuber that made a video mocking all of the gameplay in Star Wars Outlaws. As you can see, the main character goes up behind the stormtrooper and just grabs his helmet and throws him on the ground. And she knocks him out just like that. Boom. Done. Yeah. You know, it's just poor animation <laughs> effort at this point. These people aren't really trying 
trying to make cave vessels. Strong, independent, I don't need no man. I am dad's princess. <laughs> Look like a formidable character in any way. They just give her overpowered strength despite her ridiculously small body frame. And she can knock yeah. stormtroopers out by slapping them or touching them on the shoulder or just looking at them, I guess. Grums goes on to say, I love how he doesn't even rear his head back to resist and his legs go limp and spaghetti to enable his fall. I mean, really, she's super strong. She's a strong protagonist. Okay, this is how they make the main character playable. This is what the head developer of the game said himself. He wants her to be an approachable main character. So therefore, we're going to make her super strong and she can take out enemies instantly. Apparently, the stormtroopers just drop their weapons when they're being confronted by this character. Look what she does here. I don't understand this animation. She just walks up and turns his body around nicely. Yeah. Look at that. Just like, hey, what's going on? Excuse me. Boom. <laughs> you know what's really amazing is that not only does this game have horrible AI and gameplay, it also has terrible optimization. If you see this post from Learning the Law, he goes into detail about the requirements of the game. And this is some seriously outdated, unnecessary stuff right here. Star Wars Outlaws recommends 3060 Ti for native 720p resolution. Okay, I have a 3060 RTX. I've got a video. What? What? This game? What the actual hell, though? No, there is no way, bro. Say you swear to God right now, man. This is me right now. Damn. So th a 3060 Ti and the game runs at 720p. And while this game looks like this, it looks worse than a PlayStation 3 game. What, what in the world? What in the world? How is that even possible? Damn, Ubisoft. I thought you were at quadruple A. Here are some incredible quadruple A level AI reactions. All right, let's see. Video card that can run most games at max graphics. But the fact that this is only going to get you to 720p resolution is pretty insane. This is supposed to be a big game. Of course, Ubisoft downplays the graphics of their game, so they're not going to look as great as they do in the trailers. But even so, you're going to get performance issues here. You're not going to get the full scope yeah. and visual levels that you would have gotten if you had a much more powerful PC. They also have a season pass coming. And we're going to take a look at the season pass because it is going to break you guys' brains. Immerse yourself in the most empowered female character in the Star Wars universe. Journalists compare this to Red Dead Redemption 2 in space. Okay, so this is one... Okay, bro, what? Wait, wait, wait a second, wait, wait, we gotta do this one. What the actual hell? What the actual hell? Are you really gonna compare your game with Red Dead Redemption 2? One of the greatest games ever, the journalists are saying. Here are some incredible quadruple level AI reactions. Here's some of the reactions from the AI in this game. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, so they're just looking at her. She's, she's pointing her weapon right at him, and he sees her at point blank range and starts <laughs> firing at her. So the AI is really, really dumb. It's poorly designed, poorly... Better than Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. Like, look at that. Better than Red Dead Redemption 2. In, it's, it's just Red Dead Redemption 2, guys, but in space. You know what? That, yeah, yeah. It's just Red Dead Redemption 2 like quality, but in space. That's what it is. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. Red Dead Redemption 2. Executed. The enemies just stare at you and stand there. They just walk right up to you and just start Wait a conversation, I guess. And then some scenes, they just start shooting walls instead of shooting at you. Here's another post from him that I reported on the other day. I'm having a blast with Star Wars fighting mechanics. As such, the Look. blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes, and the stealth gameplay had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I... Yep, you had, you had IGN praising this game. And while they were praising the game, they were showing everybody gameplay that is just the worst thing you've ever seen. But that's how the media works, and that is how Ubisoft works. They take the worst parts of their game, and they give it to the media and say, hey, you have to say nice things about this game because we need this game to succeed even if the gameplay is absolutely terrible i mean look at this gif right here here's a gif of a stormtrooper just shooting a wall randomly okay so kvs's character just gets up looks up and sees stormtroopers just shooting walls i mean this is the kind of thing that you're going to walk around seeing while you're playing this game you never know right maybe there's an enemy inside after all this game is like red dead redemption 2 but in space right so yeah maybe he was shooting an invisible alien inside maybe that's what it was maybe yeah because the ai is really advanced in this game right it's so advanced man it's like red dead redemption 2 but in space look at that this is Red Dead Redemption 2, guys, in space. Look at that. Damn, homie. Damn, man. Game that you just spent 70 to 130 dollars to play. You're gonna be seeing a bunch of stormtroopers walking around like chickens with their heads cut off. And they're gonna be shooting walls and walking. And, and these seconds are also selling this in a subscription like service, right? That, that Ubisoft Play or whatever, Ubisoft Play, or whatever you call that thing, right? The subscription, right? Basically, you can spend like 10, 20 bucks a month and play this game. Bruh. Or you can spend like $130 uh, to play this game. I believe like the $70 version is delayed one, right? So if you spend like 130 you get the season pass, you get the game, and the game comes out like day one. They're calling it early, early, early access, but in all reality, they are uh, releasing the standard version, which uh, of course is for $70. They're delaying the standard version uh, b because, uh, you know, these seconds need... Uh, to charge you more money essentially so either 130 dollars uh, so you can play day one and get season pass and this abomination of a game or you can actually wait like everybody else and uh, 
you know, pay seventy dollars to get the game. Or if you want a better deal, well, you can also buy the the their Ubisoft Play subscription and play the game with twenty dollars a month. And after a month, you're not gonna own it. Uh, I mean, after all, Ubisoft once said that hey, get gamers need to get real comfortable by not owning games. They they said that, guys. I'm not even making it up. Yeah, they said that get real comfortable gamers by not owning your games right up to you and doing absolutely nothing while you struggle to comprehend in your mind why you even decided to buy this game. As per manga lawyer, I've never been so immersed in a takedown experience as I was with Star Wars Outlaws. IGN 10 out of 10, too much empowered women experience as she walks up behind a stormtrooper and smacks him in the head like it's absolutely Damn. nothing. I gotta say, stormtroopers are the most pathetic bad guys in cinematic history. And this person says Star Wars Outlaws makes me feel like I'm in an episode of Andor. Oh my goodness. So Star this person's Wars hiding behind this one piece of cargo and stormtroopers just run right past her. <laughs> That's stealth in this game, but by the way, a lot of these segments are for- You're not understanding, bro. This is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, but in space uh, AI, bro. It's you. It's Red Dead Redemption 2-like, brother. As she just punches a stormtrooper, knocks him out with her spindly little hands. What more needs to be said about this? Uh, other people who are playing this make jokes about crashing their speeders, but really he has a full-on minute of him wait crashing a speeder because obviously it's not really designed all- uh, I got to play- Wait- Pump the brakes. Uh, I got to play Star Wars Outlaws for four hours. I didn't crash the speeder nearly as many times as expected. Huge thanks to Ubisoft for the opportunity to play Star Wars Outlaws early. Okay. It's about crashing their speeders, but really he has a full-on minute of him crashing a speeder because obviously it's not really designed all that well. There are just so many issues with this game, and we haven't even gotten to the social aspects of everything. I, I want to I wanna show you guys uh, this. I actually marked down the timestamp here somewhere. Or, or wait for it. Let's but see you this. do have this three and a half almost hour video from Fleekazoid in which he ripped this game to pieces, and he a lot of views for it, a lot of likes for it. People absolutely loved it. They do not love Star Wars Outlaws, which is why Ubisoft has to pay people to pretend to love Star Wars Outlaws. As per that part place again, because they're awesome at consolidating all of this information. Oh, yeah, Ubisoft this buttered up YouTubers and influencers with- Look at that, bro. L look at this. Look at this, bro. Like, this is the game character right now. This is the in-game. Now, I have to agree, in certain aspects, she does look a bit better than uh, this one, but make no mistake, like, they took a real actress and manned it up. So it's a man, basically, essentially, right now, right? With that jawline and all that, right? Uh, with flat chest and, uh, 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 yeah, in some instances, they made her look like this in game. Like, holy crap, bro. Holy crap. So, of course, like, people are talking about this one as well. And Assassin's Creed drama that's, like, completely different as well. Uh, so we, we talked about that numerous times already. And now we also are hearing that they uh, have buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours to promote Star Wars. <laughs> I wonder where Disneyland. Okay, so I I know there's one in Florida, and then there's also in California, right? So I'm assuming the California one gotta gotta be the California one. If with I'm not trips mistaken. to Disneyland and boat tours to promote Star Wars Outlaws. So Ubisoft went to a bunch of. Inf uh, correct me if I'm wrong, right? It does. Uh, is there Disneyland in California? I could be wrong. I know there is one in Florida, but maybe in California too? I don't know. Influential people, content creators, and they said, hey, we need you to say nice things about Star Wars Outlaws. Would you like to fly out to Disneyland to play our game? Would you like some plushies and some dinners and maybe a little bit of monetary compensation so that we can get some positive PR about our game? We're taking way too many hits from gamers right now. Here's where things get really interesting. You may recall in one of my previous videos, I talked about that earnings meeting that happened with the Ubisoft investors, and one of those investors called out their game saying, hey, are these projects really going to be profitable? To which the yeah. person that was in charge of this meeting responded saying, hey, we've got the biggest marketing campaign in the works and it's going to be insane for Ubisoft titles. That's what they were saying. And part of that biggest marketing campaign ever was flying out YouTubers and influencers to Los Angeles to give them four hours with the game. So yes, I reported the other day there were four hour gameplay videos and live streams all over the internet. People were testing out the gameplay, uh, giving their thoughts on it. And many of these people who were playing it were shipped out to Disneyland or the Ubisoft headquarters or wherever <laughs> to play this game. What was really funny was that on Twitch, it really wasn't oh getting all that God. much activity despite all of these influencers that were given all of these lavish rewards. Cyberpunk 20XX revealed that one of his fellow German YouTubers, Kartoffel Koenig, confirmed the claim that it was the biggest marketing campaign ever. In translation, Dang. that person said, we are the largest marketing campaign ever for a Ubisoft game. And I can definitely confirm the last part as I was invited by Ubisoft to come to Los Angeles and oh, play okay. in the Star Wars. Okay, gotta be California. Yeah, Los Angeles. So there is, uh, by the looks of it there, then. Wars Outlaws event. The location was really polished up and there was a day in Disneyland and something like that. So they got to go on some rides after they played that game for them. I remember rings of... Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, these seconds are crazy, man. These seconds are crazy. Yeah, the game sucks so bad that they needed like something, you know, to spice it up. To give these YouTubers like that dopamine, right? Like the fist up, right? You feel what I'm saying? They needed these uh, YouTubers like bouncing. They needed these YouTubers like jumping. So they, they produced some uh, videos, some reviews, right? Saying nice things 
uh, about the game and this is what happens right like if, if you get invited out by these companies it's gonna and they put you in a nice hotel and they treat you well i'm sure they treated them well and that's good that they did but but the reason they do that is because but because once you come back from that trip even if the game sucks and you had a negative experience with the game it's gonna be really hard for you to talk bad about the game because they treated you really really well of course they didn't treat you well because they wanted to treat you well they did it so it, it was a business uh, interaction right it was a business it was a mutual business trip it was a business opportunity it was a sponsorship kind of right uh, uh it's gonna be really hard for the person to criticize it uh, truly and genuinely now if the game is amazing and then they treat you like that then then that's awesome right like you you get you get to talk positively about the trip you get to positively talk about the game and it's all good right like that that's amazing but if the game is amazing they wouldn't <laughs> usually okay nine out of ten times they don't do crap like that no in no uh big publisher do crap like that why waste your money like that right you know what i mean just invite these stupid youtubers out let them play the game and post it if the game is good the game will do the talking and all the gamers will talk about our game and everybody would like it youtubers would like it they will promote it and boom 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 Th there we go that's marketing right right but if the game sucks then they have to resort to like these types of uh, uh antics and shenanigans because they know that <laughs> when youtubers get home they're gonna be like oh it was bad <laughs> so they they needed to up their experience some way some way and this was their way this was Howard their did something way, like this once and it was a disaster and that is something that that park place mentions here but they go on to say that cyberpunk 20xx cited a post from chewy which states ubisoft and star wars flew me out to california to play star wars interviewed the game director and lead writer and meet the cast i'm beyond grateful so a bunch of these influencers okay. were taken out and they got to enjoy a day in the sun at the expense of gamers but to the chagrin of ubisoft tofu games wrote i had a blast experiencing star wars outlaws at the preview event this week thank you ubisoft for the Knicks plushie and for flying me out for all the festivities. Man, these people are getting- Thank you. I am gonna be Dad's little princess. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me and flying me out. Next week, I had a BBL appointment though. So it is very good you guys invited me today. Tee -hee and all these nice perks. All I gotta do is play a game that everybody is hating right now. <laughs> Not mentioned in Cyberpunk 20XX's video, but the Star Wars HQ revealed they made lightsabers during the Disneyland VIP experience. Look at this. A picture of a group of influencers. They all got to make Star Wars lightsabers while they were out there playing Star Wars Outlaws. So all these content creators got together and they were like, man, this is awesome. Ubisoft has given us everything we could ever want. Now, of course, some of these people I've mentioned have not actually been given money. Another person clarifies that she hasn't been giving money when she was mentioning in her video that she was not paid by Ubisoft or anyone else to make this video. I was given the opportunity to record content. However, it was fully my own choice to make and share content based on it the only money i make from this content is from youtube views there is no shilling or hidden agenda uh, to be honest though like i remember uh i'm not sure for how long you guys have been around uh i remember around like 2015 somewhere around that time when black ops 3 was coming out we had this report leaking out and if you guys know eight thoughts right he was also breaking the news on it too and it was all over the place right B basically uh, yeah this is what i recall from memory white boy 7th street ali a t martin they were paid like 10 g's uh, some were paid even more or wide boy 7th street allegedly um, i could be wrong but this is what i heard back in the days the the, th the one thing that i'm certain about back in the days they would pay youtubers nowadays from what i what i hear is that they don't necessarily pay youtubers maybe ubisoft did pay them okay maybe that's a big maybe okay but i'm inclined to believe her when she says that she's not paid and the money that she's gonna make is gonna be from the youtube views the reason i'm believing this is because nowadays these publishers don't pay they invite you out okay they take care of you they they, they take care of the, the flight tickets the hotel reservation and of course like the free there's free food you get to play the game early and on top you get to uh, upload on your channel early as well and, and on top they got them free boat tours disneyland right so of course like they paid them in that aspect but they wouldn't have given them i'm 90 I'm percent sure 90 percent sure ba based off of uh what i know and all that right so yeah they don't necessarily is involved well from what i saw on twitch the game was not getting as much activity as i assume ubisoft was hoping but that didn't stop a number of these influencers from saying positive things about it the media said positive things about it they're calling it red dead redemption 2 in space i mean that's probably the biggest compliment you can give a game since red dead redemption 2 is one of the most technically impressive games of its time but we all know that that's an insane thing to say ubisoft games are nowhere near that quality some of the games that have come out beforehand i'm talking about the more successful ubisoft games they still have tons of issues that red dead redemption 2 does not have and these issues have not gotten better over the past decade that's why ubisoft stocks keep dropping among other reasons like yeah. sweet 
Ubisoft Baby Inc. Yeah. involvement in gaming consultancy that has all but tarnished their already tarnished reputation. But this YouTuber also notes that Ubisoft has held at least two of these big events, and he cites Miranda Lorian, who revealed she was invited to two events, one in June and another in July. So they're hiring the same influencers over and over again to go to multiple events that they have. Just don't expect all this positive PR that these influencers are pushing out for this game to be genuine. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it's okay to suggest that much of this positivity about this game is fabricated. It's not even real. It goes on in that Park Place article to say, of note, this investigation follows in the wake of German YouTuber channel Piet Smiet, which has over 2 million subscribers, admitting that it removed its Star Wars Outlaws preview video and the video itself was subject to a review process from a third party. In a post to YouTube, Piet Smiet shared that they removed their Star Wars Outlaws preview video from their channel. Do you know why they had to do that? Because they had to get approval first that the video was positive enough to be uploaded. It says, as translated by Deepel, one of the channel's owners stated, Hi, Peter here. We've taken the Star Wars video offline, not because we wanted to sweep something under the carpet or anything, but because it should never have been published and we don't want it on the channel. We'll talk a bit more about this in the next Fiat Cast episode. I'm sorry. So why in the world did they take the video down? Well, they weren't getting approved by the third party agency. As translated by Deepel, the channel posted, I completely understand the arguments that were made here and that was not correct. I had the opportunity to play the game for four hours and it was edited into over an hour of video. As part of the review process, the entire video was thrown back to us and an intermediary agency, not Ubisoft, asked for a lot of changes. So this agency was saying, hey, this video is great and all, but we'd like you to make a few changes. Now, this guy said, since I personally thought the game was really cool, I didn't see that as a big problem. This was a huge miscalculation. It added, sorry, you don't have to pre-order a game. Of course, you can buy whatever you like with your money. I absolutely enjoyed the version I was shown. The process behind it was for the A, and I'm sorry that we didn't print more against it, but let ourselves be beaten wide open. Big Stop the cap sorry for that. So they were asking this person to change the wording at the beginning. So they're like, hey, this word right here, this really doesn't reflect what the game is supposed to be. It's not the most positive thing. Could you just change this so it says something way more positive and appealing and enjoyable about the game? And, and this guy's like, no big deal. Yeah, so like Ubisoft would be like, yeah, bro, like what the hell? Like we paid for your ass, right? Like we put you in a nice hotel. We gave, we gave you free food, okay? Free food. We gave you free food. Don't forget that. We hit you over the Disneyland though. Free pass to the Disneyland, my guy. <laughs> We gave you boat tours as well. Yay! What? You gonna do us to do us like that? Pow, son! So how many other influencers had to do the same thing when uploading their own content about this game? I mean, how much Mostly positivity everybody. about Star Wars Outlaws actually exists when most of their YouTube videos promoting their gameplay showcases are in the negative, they're in the red. You can't go to a single Star Wars Outlaws official video for the gameplay or the cutscenes or whatever story it's trailers over. they have without seeing an extremely negative ratio. Just dislike- it, 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 It's Joe over, guys. Do not trust these YouTubers, influencers. Don't trust these reviews, man. Like, I, I be saying this for a long time, man. Don't trust these reviews like that okay but check out this video on the screen this recently just happened i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not this is an insane video okay i'm not sure if it's gonna stay on the youtube or not okay like this is yeah insane expose it just went down check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left